In this video, we'll show you some tricks for quickly changing fixture properties with gestures. Some gestures work with a regular mouse, others require a multi-touch trackpad, either your MacBook's built-in trackpad or Apple's Magic Trackpad. To begin with, if you hold down the command key and scroll up or down, you can change the dimmer for the selected fixtures. This works with a mouse or trackpad. Note that the pointer must be over the preview while you scroll. Hold down Command and Option as you scroll to change the hue. This works with any fixtures with RGB or CMY colors. Holding down Command, Option, and Shift while scrolling changes the color's saturation. If you have a multi-touch trackpad, you can swipe up or down with four fingers to change the master dimmer. Again, the pointer must be over the preview when you swipe. Before you can use this gesture, you must make sure it isn't assigned to a system function. Go to System Preferences, Trackpad, and click More Gestures. Make sure all three and four finger gestures are disabled here. If your trackpad supports force touch, you can force click a fixture icon to open the position HUD. If you don't have a force touch trackpad, simply press the mouse button for about half a second until the HUD appears. Move the pointer over a fixture and pinch with two fingers to show the focus, zoom, or iris HUD. Which HUD is shown depends on your fixtures. You can configure this in Likey's preferences as we'll see later. If the pointer is over a HUD for position, focus, zoom, or iris, you can scroll to change the value. Hold down the command key and scroll to change the tilt angle. Of course, you can do the same with a mouse. You can adapt all of the gestures we've seen in this video to your needs. Open the Preferences window and click Gestures. Beyond these gestures, there are other ways to control fixture properties quickly. Likey provides many keyboard shortcuts which you always see in the lower right corner. If you have a MacBook with a touch bar, simply select any fixture property and change it from the touch bar. You can also assign fixture properties to the buttons and faders on a MIDI controller. You'll find more information on MIDI control in the Light Key User Guide. 